Hey, so in this video, I wanted to show you how you can use NordVPN in order to help you play Call of Duty. Now, this is NordVPN over here. This is what the VPN looks like. And there are a few reasons why you would want to use a VPN like Nord when you're playing Call of Duty or Warzone. And my top three reasons would either be to get discounts or DLCs that you might only be available in a different country. So by using NordVPN and connecting up to somewhere where they might have that discount, let's say somewhere in Europe over here, then when you head over to Steam, you'd be able to get those discounts. Another reason might be if you want to get easier lobbies, maybe because of the SBMM, the skill based matchmaking, you're always getting put in really hard lobbies and you just want to find some easier ones, then using a VPN properly can increase your chances of getting an easier lobby. It's not guaranteed, but it can definitely help. And lastly, you may want to also use your VPN in order to help with ping issues if you're getting a lot of lag. And I'm going to go through all three of these things in this video and show you how you can use NordVPN in order to do it. Now, the way to get NordVPN is simply by going to their website and picking a plan, signing up, downloading the VPN, and then entering your credentials in the application, and that's it, you're good to go. And I'll include a link in the description below that will take you to the NordVPN website, and it'll also give you a bit of a discount on NordVPN as well. So now once you're set up with NordVPN, let's say you want to use it in order to get those discounts in Steam. So the thing with Steam is that in order to get discounts from a certain country, in the account that you have, you're going to need a payment method from that country. If you don't have one and you just go to the VPN over here and you connect up to let's say somewhere in Europe, then when you go to Steam, since you're connected to a server now in Europe, the prices will show up in Euro or the currency of whatever country that you're connected to in the VPN because that's what Steam will think that you are. But because of the payment method is gonna be, let's say a US payment method, you're still gonna get the US prices. Now, the best way to get around this, if you don't have a payment method of the country that you're trying to connect to or the country from where you wanna purchase the product from is gonna be to just make a new account and and before you do that, again, make sure that you're set up with the VPN and connected to the server of the country that you want to access and get the deal. And then once you do that, you go into Steam, you make a new account that'll be registered to the country that you're connected to in the VPN. A good tip is also to go into Steam, go into your settings, go into the downloads and make sure that in the download region, it matches whichever country you're connected to in Nord. Doing that will get you a new Steam account registered to the country that you want, and you'll be able to get discounts and DLCs that will be only available in that country. Now, let's say you wanted to use Nord in order to get easier bot lobbies. So when it comes to this, there are some specialized VPNs that are supposed to help you do this. The thing with this is that I've found after testing it out and speaking to a bunch of people is that very often, since a lot of other people are also using these VPNs, you may wind up in sweatier lobbies than you would without it because everybody else is trying to get around the skill based matchmaking as well and they're using these VPNs so they may not actually help you. Personally, I found NordVPN does a great job at it. And again, like I said in the beginning, this increases your chances of getting easier lobbies, although it may not be perfect. It may not work every single time. The main thing is to make sure that you use the VPN first before you start up the game. Also, you want to connect to a country where at the time that you're playing over there, it's going to be in the night or sometime when people are going to be sleeping like four o'clock in the morning or three o'clock in the morning, something like that. And you also want to find a country where the game isn't as popular, where there aren't as many people playing. And two options that I know are really good with this happen to be Nigeria and Kenya. So connecting up to either of these are pretty good bets. And then hopefully there won't be as many people in these locations playing the game and it'll have no choice but to either throw you in with bots or some easier players that are lower than your skill level. Now, lastly, if you want to use Nord in order to get better ping, the main thing here is to know where the Call of Duty game servers are. So you can find these easily. And once you know where they are, you want to find the closest one to you. So let's say I was in like this area in Asia where there aren't really any servers and I'm getting really bad ping. So the closest server to me might be this one over here in Warsaw. And I would want to try to find a server in Poland or somewhere in this area where I can connect up in the VPN to that server. So I'd go into Nord and I'd look around and I'd find a server somewhere around this area and try to connect to that. And this can help direct your internet connection straight to a server that's really close to the gaming server and potentially reduce your ping. And it happens to be when it comes to speed, NordVPN is one of the best in the industry, maybe the best. And that's because of their NordLynx protocol. So if you go over here to the settings and you go to your connection, they have the NordLynx protocol. And a protocol is basically like the messaging service that sends all of the data from your computer to whatever websites or games or whatever you're doing on the internet and back to you. So which 
protocol you're using has a really big impact on the speed of your connection and Nord Lynx is one of the fastest out there. So when it comes to gaming, this is a huge bonus for Nord VPN. You'll generally get a lot better ping with Nord than you would with a lot of other VPNs. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope this helps you out. If you want to find out more about Nord, I'll be sure to leave a link for a full in-depth review in the description below. And again, there will also be a discount link there that will save you some extra money if you want to try it out. It has a 30 day money back guarantee, so you can really just try it out for 30 days. And if you don't like it or it's not doing what you want, then you could always cancel and get your money back. Thank you so much for watching. Have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next one.